how exactly some of these players climb up and rise and start performing a little bit better. We're going to get a B hit right out of the gate. Three players lining up in Monster, two players with Utility. Keto's got duelies. He does have the duelies. Let's see what he's able to do with them. Fiku plays from behind the barrel, so get forced into the open by Utility. And oh, finally gets a kill. Had a free kill for a while there, but difficult to land the shot with them all moving. And Fiku eventually gets that first. Now Kito strikes around the back. The Jewel Beretta is opening up with an opportunity, but suddenly the Jewel Berettas are alone in the world. And Fnatic Jolly could be stewing in his own matter as he's about to be peeked around the corner at the rock. Has got his teammate behind him. What do you think stronger, the tree or the rock? Uh, Probably that I would tree. say uh, the tree seemed very strong in that previous round. Yeah. Ooh, the nade, though, is going to help out quite nicely. They can't connect any of the shots. Roy finally gets one. The damage is done. Regali's got a little bit of a challenge ahead of him. Two HP. Another nade comes in, but he's got no chance. Good aggression from Fnatic to clear things out entirely, and we've got ourselves into a three-on-three. -three. We do indeed, and Fnatic are going to be making their way down long. Making their way down long. Running fast, straight through the toilets. That's the last small sea of Karim. So he's gone, and Nexa locks that in. Now Fnatic's starting to worry about this. You know, we got plenty of time. We don't have to commit long just yet. Let's take a pause. Let's take a breather. Let's figure out, is there a better way we can approach well, this? And maybe it's just ooh. pumping the brakes and letting Nexa walk into you, but the peak is strong, and Nexa wins that jewel. Yeah, that peak. I think Nexa could see like half of Mezzi's body before he could even get a chance to react, and we didn't even see him fire a bullet, so maybe he never got the information. Afro's... Going to come back up. He was checking the flank, checking bathrooms to make sure they weren't getting wrapped upon, but now he's left alone 1v3. Only 20 seconds on the clock. Even if he gets this kill on Keto, I don't think he has the time. And now he's just got to hustle and run. Plant back of dice boxes because bathrooms is wide open and... Oh, well, it's over. It's done. Deal. Actually, I think it was going to be over no matter where he planted, to be honest with you. I'm Roy. That's about it. The trio yeah, still exists. True. Bang. There's a nice start for Kito. Fiku coming through with a second kill of the round for OG. And this was a round that Fnatic purchased into, and they're getting absolutely wrecked at the moment. Got to pull it back, and that's exactly what Roy and Mezzi do. Yeah, once again, descending into the three-on-three. -three. Although Mezzi and Roy are very low on HP. Grims might have some heavy lifting to do in this round. Mezzi's going to transition over towards Monster. Two players out towards Long with the bomb as well. So Mezzi's going to try and just establish some presence. Keep this defense honest. Keep two players at the B bomb site while this long play comes to fruition. It's a long time for Mezzi to be alone on an island. I think those footsteps were heard. We just saw Regali turn around and consider the long cross into the A bomb site. Now clearing out bathrooms. He'll have a very fast rotation from Fiku. And Mezzi's going to start making his play now. One kill would be massive. It's got to be quick, though. Smoke down into the middle of the bomb site. 23 seconds left. Yeah, it's a fake out from Mezzi that's worked wonders. It's kept the CTs there, keeping them guessing. Yeah, but no they've just got to take a risk. They can't cover everything, so Crims has just got to hope and pray that nobody peeks from headshot. Now Mezzi makes his play. However, Fiku's still aware of the possibility. That's a nice win. Yeah, big headshot from Fiku, and now it is all down to Roy. He doesn't have a whole lot of health, and he's going to be waiting for them to come back up the stairway. He's hoping he can catch them, not checking him. He would need a multi-kill. If he's to win this round, bomb is planted for him. There's the first on Fiku. Yet to detect Nexa, and the patience for Nexa, and the timing yeah. works out for him. That's a really, really good bait from Nexa. Per OG in the lead, but the last round was one of those deagle investments, half buys from Fnatic. Now you're back to the rifles, and you're in a rough spot, Roy, getting pushed along, but that's a lot of info at least. And we'll see how Fnatic handle that. Maybe they accelerate a play into B based on that information. They have to. They spotted three. Roy saw three players exactly pushing long and towards party. So there's a bit of a timing here. Foster's been spotted. Has to give it up. Has to give up the angle. This is a bit sketchy. And there's the wraparound. There's the second kill. Mezzi's got the bomb site. And yeah, no chance at getting back into this one. Set up for some exit kills. Take some guns away. That's about it.
Fiku's gonna start investigating. He could double up if he finds Crims first, and Crims misses out on the timing, still commits to the fight. Mezzi's position, no, that's good spam. That's actually great spam. The nade shouldn't land the kill, but Fiku's under some pressure. Getting ever closer to the A bomb site from long here, Fnatic. OG have a couple of players sitting inside a bathroom still. Afro going to set up the smoke. Here comes Roy and Dexter close at long, wrap in the corner now. Looking towards bathrooms. The timing on the first beat doesn't work out. And Dexter gets caught because of it. Regali wins that duel. And this is uncomfortable for Fnatic now. Yeah, they, they have to get the bomb. You can see that the real hard thing is Mezzi over in the staircase. He's really turned into a lurk. He doesn't have the HP to do anything, so he's got to rely on Roy and Afro to get this bomb planted safely to force the shift, to force the retake a little bit early so that he can actually have some impact from his position with his HP. Bomb has been planted. Oh, Mezzi and Fiku, blow for blow. And this kill, this this means everything. And Roy's going to lose that fight versus Nexa, putting Afro in an almost impossible clutch on the AWP. Switches to the P250. Instead, there's the second shot. Afro couldn't get it done versus Fiku. Nice try, but it's not going to happen. That's a very nice attempt, actually, from Afro. Able to get around the dice boxes. Maybe he's got a chance. Low HP on Fiku, but that's a good trade from Fiku to make sure... Utility flooding into the B-bomb side. Fiku tries to stop them penetrating through Monster. He only manages one kill, but there's still two in water. Messi goes over the top, tries to clear both of them out. Was so close in doing so. But because of Nax's kill and because he holds strong, Fnatic don't feel comfortable about this side, so they have to wrap around the back. Oh. And Afro had every chance in the world to sink that kill. Yeah, that would have been a wonderful frag to find into a 2v2 with over a minute left on the clock. Now they've got to do it just themselves. Man disadvantage situation up on the hands of Regali. Real question is when someone from OG actually rotates back to the A bomb site because it is Regali with the op, but because he has the op, he won't be able to be too aggressive and he's walking to make sure his rotation timing is not heard by Fnatic and it's a recovery situation for OG. Bomb plant, locked in with no issue. Now it's OG's turn to try and retake. Afro came close to winning the round on his own in the previous round. Now he's got Dexter for help, but Afro this time will not commit anything. It's down to Dexter, lets them run by, trigger discipline for a double. And now the in-game leader drops down the bank stairway, not too far. And that prevents Nexa from getting the easy up on him. And Dexter, oh, oh he fumbles it. Oh, he absolutely fumbles the bag. He had done everything he needed to do. He just needed to get away. And it's going to be a photo finish for Fnatic. Limited time, and they must be effective in evicting the current defense. And here they come. Krim going forward with Mezzi, who cuts through the first two players. And that's it. That was okay. pretty successful. Right down to the final second. Yeah, I, you said photo finish. Well, that was picture perfect. Uh, no, no issues whatsoever. Okay, I did. I thought OG would have a, a much more solid standing than that. Yeah, me too. I thought that was going to be like a brawl right at the end. Maybe you're getting into a position where OG would have to play retake. And, and nope, just just a very quick finish in the end. And I it just all comes down to headshots. Time. And I mean, it is coming back to what I was saying earlier today. I'd, I'd enjoy that. I mean, I think he's certainly, you'd expect at this point, uh, made quite a, a name for himself as a very strong rifler. Good shot from Fiku. Half blind, just kind of cleared up. Krim's trying to make an aggressive play through the smoke. There's another one for Mr. Merriman. Second kill this time for Fnatic in the round is from Dexter. So they've got all the advantages in the world now to play with and all of the time. Yeah, so. plenty of time. Minute and 15 seconds in this four on three. The one thing they still don't know about is this op in Regali's hands over towards the A bomb site. But he's, as we can see at the minimap, there's not a whole lot of action coming in his direction. Oh, <laughs> how'd that taste, Nexa? 
force fed the HE grenade. A, a random HE grenade to the face. <laughs> yeah. Roy making the solo play over A at the moment. He's got a lot of space. He loves to make plays like this, Roy. Heard the jump as well. Now he's got the information he needs. A quick wrap around. Regali's out maneuvering him uh, unknowingly. Uh oh, banana gun. It's going to be one kill for Keto on the peak. Gets traded by Dexter. 20 seconds left, and Roy, he's in the Tarek position, but he actually gets the kill. And now Regali's left on the other side of the map. I mean, not the worst outcome. Uh, obviously, we would have liked to have had the timing on that on that flank from Roy, but the fact that Regali gets to keep his op alive, uh, you'll you'll live with that, I guess, as Fnatic tied things up. He's waiting, just waiting so patiently, and Messi actually just sprints past the door, so now they know that he's boosting. But the information given over to Fasher, who takes Messi out of the play. Is there anything more from Fasher? Whoa, yes, there is. A second kill and connector. This time, Dexter gone. Basher's not stopping until forcibly stopped by Crims. Now, oh, Regali, uh, no. did he on scope? That's awkward. It seemed like he was really hunting that down. Knew the angle, tracking the whole way, and so lost many the battle. Of those scenarios. Yeah, Crims is in a good position, though. Both coming through short tunnel. And they heard the footsteps flanking back from T spawn. Crims can't react fast enough. Good clear from Fiku. But that lets him know there's a push. Keto still gets one. And Afro once again left alone in a 1v2. Can he win this one? He's come so close in the previous round. Now the French Opera looks to try and break him in round 12. To give Fnatic that extra advantage going into the second half. And a sound cue. May drawing Afro in towards short, but he spotted from heaven. Fiku knows now he's pushing him, and the rifle Dude. was tucked down just below Afro, and he couldn't get away with it. That almost felt like a little bit of a bait, like stepping into the they Molotov the just fire, to give yeah. this sound cue. Then into B. Oh, Back faking it as ladder. well. Ooh, who's called this? This is wild. <laughs> All right, guys, I have a strategy. It's, it's, it has a few layers to it. Um, but here They're, me just out. They're just memeing <laughs> at this point. But it's pulling him into Regali. He goes one for one out towards long. It's just a lurk. And if you're a fanatic, you're like, okay, that was all a fake. So that play could activate. Now probably going to go to the B bomb site. They haven't shifted anyone. Mezzi's about to have everyone in his face, and he just spots it out now. Mezzi with the most from the back of the dice box, trying his best to make something happen here with the USP, and it is just one on the peak out on Fasher. Gets ripped apart. Now the bomb plant being secured, and down to the 3v3. So at a minimum, OG have confirmed a force bite for the next round, but they want everything. They want all the bells and all the whistles thrown into this one. Dexter gets caught. That's Keto's kill. This should extend this advantage further for OG. Afro trying to climb the stairway. A stairway to hell for him, though. Not heaven, as Crims looks to try and bring Fnatic to the promised land. He's got a kid, he's got a smoke. And two OG players to find here. Smoke's onto the bomb. This could work for Crims. He taps Keto into the fight, but Crims will not land the shot. And that is OG winning the pistol in the second half. Yeah, it is. That's, uh, I mean, it's almost like at a certain point, if you're Fnatic, like you can't even really trust the footsteps you're hearing after that little around the world. Calculated. Molotov towards his position, forces him out a little bit wider. Yikes. That's all, that's all I have to say about that. He's just yikes. Yikes, indeed. Roy feeling that. Feeling the sting. Clearing out the divider. Afro, that burns. He's got to get out of there. He's got to get to the safety of the toilets. And he'll hike and spam down. He's having a terrible round. This could be another yikes for me. Dog. Finally. Starting back a bit. Oh. Regali. Guess what, Dinko? I was muted. You were muted. No way. I was muted. He's Regali. actually done it again. He's done it again. Twice in a day. Regali's going to get a headshot. Try to complete this 1v3. I'm going to make up for it right now with his big time clutch. 
Low HP on Afro, spotted out in Regali now with a real shot at it, a real chance. Time is low, Flashbang is out, and Dexter is going to play for the plant. He knows, oh, it's already over. It's already over. Okay, well, GG's. <laughs> Good shot. Uh, that, yeah, I guess, nice shots, Jason. Um, you really did make up for it. Did everybody miss your yikes? It's like tech pause. Be careful of wielding that power, Dinko. It goes to your head. <laughs> Why well, spreading misinformation on the internet? <laughs> Everyone's doing it these days, Jason. Why can't I? Dip in, dip your toes into the water. <laughs> what do you hear about this roster move? I just thought of. Well, Roy uh, alone, alone, very far advanced with the MP9. He's getting the fight he wants. Hey, timing. But he still nails both. Good shooting from Roy. One more. Trying the pre-fire and he can't find it accurately. Fiku crouches underneath. Finally neutralizes Roy, but that's well done. That's damage done. And recovery for OG on the cards. Utility lands in a bank. Afro's actually going to get in front of that smoke, so he might be able to do something from this. Sees the shadow, seizes his chance, and he'll go for the wall banks too. Crims is on the rotation up, and Afro is just hoping he gets there in time to help him. This is a doable 2v2. No kits, so they've got to move quick, and Afro not able to do anything, and I like the attempt, Crims. I like that he tried. <laughs> that shotgun coming in late. Oh, that's the here. It's Fiku playing well. Dolly playing well. We know that duo have a lot of good chemistry. Fragging out. It's nice to see. Um, Roy having a rough old time running into Regali's AWP. Doesn't get much more good than that. I think uh, Regali was, was part of the Fnatic Rising team for a while. So, a couple of links between oh! the sides and Afro. Thinking up Regali. Good night to the AWP. This is falling apart. This was a full eco, Jason. And now we're looking at AK-47s and an AWP. What, what is the hell happening? just happened? I don't know, but this is... Uh, I mean, look, I, I'm still going to say OG's in the advantage. They should be able to win this, although, as I say that, guns are recovered. So it gets much more spicy. Faster turning around, doubling up on Afro and Dexter. Now it is Messi and Crims who look to try and close this. And Crims, he's had a very quiet game, but that's a big shot to land on Fasher. Keto has to close on the nightmare round, and Messi no scopes him. <laughs> Get me Get out. Get me out. Yeah. I'm done. I'm How done. Does he manage that? That's a full eco. A full I'm not eco. Even, I'm not even sure he stopped. I mean, yeah, the real travesty is is the kills that happen out towards towards. Ah. <laughs> uh... Yes. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say yes. This is a fanatic win on weaker guns. Of course it is. Here's Roy and Crims on the double kill towards top middle. Fiku is low. This might be one of the scrappiest games of Counter-Strike I've seen in a very, very long time. <laughs> okay. Well, here we are on the roller coaster, and OGs missed their timing. It's taken too long to fall into this B hit, so the rotation is all here. They're going to be coming through the smokes with no fear. Dexter at the back of the bomb site. Low HP on Fiku, so he goes down for free. And yeah, why the hell not? Fnatic uh, responding in kind. It's 9 to 10. Well, I'm not supposed. It is the smarter decision not to force by here, but. We'll have to wait and see what Fiku can do then. Hero AK-47 running in, nearly gets a second. The rest of his teammates, the spacing was off there if they wanted to go for a monster push, so Crims handles it well. And Fair play to Fiku, though. He was he was pissed that round. He had a plan in mind of where he wanted to attack, and he went at it like a missile and at least gets the entry kill. They can't get any kind of a follow-up because Crims shuts everything down, but, you know, credit to Fiku where it's deserved. They're in the B-bomb site. Roy's trapped in connector. Mezzi. Oh, Mezzi. Oh, uh -oh. no. Oh, Not God again. Bless. God save well, us all, please. Afro hits that shot. 
Molotov gonna come into this site. Next is gonna be forced, but he's already crossed. Standing oh, he no. steps no, up he stands into in the, the fire. fire. <laughs> into the fire. Why the hell not? What HP he lives with and recovers the up, and that's 11 for OG. Ooh. Afro and Roy ready to peek into the open. It is Fiku and Kito. Okay, the first a return to normalcy. A return to normalcy in this round. OG have broken the curse. They finally done it, Dinko. I'm calling it. They win this map. All right. Uh, I feel like you're you're right on that one. It, Fnatic had their chances. Fnatic have the a, first kill of the round. That's a nice assist from Mezzi as well, spamming with the Deagle. Dex are going to push off sandbags. There is one player in short. Watching for the aggression as OG slides up towards bathrooms. Roy gets caught. Trying to escape. Didn't really have information. And there's Keto chiming in. That's Dexter finally making the push. One more through monster is Crims as he looks to wrap around towards sandbags. Or T-spawn. Where is he going to go? Time ticks on. Crim's in a perfect position to take out Regali, and he will after a few shots. Scared okay. me for a moment, and here we go. Here's the Deagles. They had an absence for one round, but they've returned <laughs> with a bang. <laughs> Flashbang over. Crim's going to come through Monster. Foster's just staying right on top of the bomb, waiting for that push. Damage done on Fasher. Low health, 39 HP. Mezzi descends in from heaven to the water itself, and Fasher hits the headshot, but it's down to just Nexa. Crim's turn. Sees Nexa coming through Monster. Does not kill him in time here next up but he will grab afro and he has to know he's damaged up crim so he goes to the glock and nexa closes the in-game leader for og will take map one away of the series fanatics map pick Bet. You bet who bet? That's brought to yes. you by Henry G and Anders. Here we go. Pissed around is live. Let's rush middle. The rush mid. I like it. I like the call from Fnatic. And Crims is just ripped apart fashion. The Glock train is here. And it's a bullet train. <laughs> and that's it's like Keto is just desperately trying to get away. Keto and Regal are like, oh god, we need to get into some cover. And there's no cover to be found because the Glocks are hunting them all so down. Ridiculous. Pistol round for OG, or for Fnatic, excuse me. Pistol round suck, Jason. I just have to say, they just they aren't as intense with your communications. Maybe some lapses in, in judgment and missed comms, etc. But 
That's what we gotta play with. That's what we gotta deal with. It's Fnatic running in. Messi with the first VQ on the double kill though. Initial hold is strong. He even goes for a game of gun game and switches out to the AK, but Messi eventually overruns it. All right, Nexa inside the smoke, gonna try and make his play. All smoke is blown smoke open light. as well. They spot Mezzi. They spot Mezzi entirely, and Fasher's got him. So Afro's under a lot of pressure, and now he knows where the follow-up player is. Molotov to prevent the swing, and it's gonna work. Look at the timing. Look at this. Oh, Roy around the back. Just a double into Keto and Fasher. They didn't move in time, and now Nexa up against Roy in the 1v1. Sends it into Temple. Roy with a peek around the corner, but the bomb is implanted for Roy. And Nexa can tap it and pull all the pressure of Roy into the peak. And he's not falling for it. Eventually, Nexa swings. And that's the Frygen game nice. leader we like to watch. Yeah, he even picked up a Molotov on the way. I don't think he realized it whatsoever. That might have made things a little bit easier. But survives with 4 HP, gets the defuse. It's a close affair. Pressure still going to be on OG to continue winning with low economy. But that's a good start. A great start, in fact, considering the success of the initial hit. He doesn't care if you have to go through the fire and actually might work out. They're not ready for it at all. No one's looking over here. Finally, they start to turn their attentions towards it. Faster gets the one. Keto has to line them up. And it's just a single kill from Keto. So even trades on that A bomb site. Even trades, bomb being planted, digits being tapped in by Roy. Nexa, Regali, and Fiku to try and recover against three. Nexa burned out into the open. Crim swings up top. One for one, and that's a good push through from Fiku. Now they know. Last player, Messi. A main. Oh, Messi with a first headshot on Fiku. Draws this 1v1 down to Nexa again, who has to clutch for OG again, and not this time. He won't do it this time around. Messi secures it, and Fnatic have a third. Wow. I feel like in MR12, especially with the current economy, every round matters so much more, right? You see the clutch from Mezzi. If, if Nexa wins that, this game is like 2-2 two, two, or 3-2 in favor of OG, you know? It's just crazy the ramifications of, of one round to make on the half here. Oh, and even potentially one pick. Nexa just strolls into the open, thought that smoke would be up a little bit sooner. Fiku's got to hold them uh. off and sliding through its Roy with the entrance. Mezzi now coming up late. Fosher's got almost no chance, oh. and he can't uh. track Afro. Runs out of ammunition, and should be another round from Fnatic. They are really piling on. Yeah, Fasher didn't really move his mouse on that second attempt. Left it in the same spot. Mezzi spotted the pillar. Keto doing a bit of damage, but Mezzi should be comfortable behind that spot. It's a strong position to maintain, and as long as he's just buying time, he has Prim to double peek with him. Good team play to confirm that trade and put Regali into the clutch. Whoop! Oh, he just transfers back in time. It's all on Crims. That was the bomb, right? So. Yep. You gotta... But the op has given up the angle, so Crims has the chance. He works up his nerve to cross back over, pick it up. 25 seconds, no chance to evacuate to the eight bomb site, so just gonna be a straight up plant. Yeah, no kit nor any utility here for Regali. So I, you gotta feel pretty good about Crimson's shot at winning this round here. He can't fumble the aim though. He has to hit the headshot. He gives Regali a shot. He might flick to him. And the position that Crimson just took is one of the it's strongest so strong. positions in the post plant. It's just so good. And that will be the round one by Crimson. That pillar position is even solid if he's coming from the other side and you're not gonna be over at this B bomb site in time, that's for sure. And even if you do, utility is going to be everywhere. Okay, oh, no. he can get Dexter, and the Deagles are still having impact. Fiku finds Afro at range. That's the opper taken down by a one deek. But Mezzi, of course, as Mezzi does, responds. Yeah, he does. He's really trying to keep this one in Fnatic's hands, but... Oh, you get a little worried when you hear that deek shot ring out. And there's still time for Fnatic, so they're considering to relocate. And I like that call. I like that decision. They're going to avoid everybody from OG by going back over to this A site. Well, if OG make their way through the canal late into this round, there'll be an AK lying down on the ground for them. So they'll be able to pick that up again. And it is likely to be the position that they would try this retake from. Not only that, but they've got an AWP and an AK. This is very doable for OG, especially with how long Fnatic are taking to plant the ball. Bang! First kill locked in on Messi. Now it's Crims. 
for the clutch. The king of the clutch. Can he do it again? He can. Corinne's with a triple. OG have got to feel like that was locked in, but Karim's denies it. So cool by Pika to be looking for it to block it. I don't think it's going to help him a whole lot, but he's done it. Well, Dexter has the bomb, and now he's just peak mid, so that bomb is down momentarily. Can be recovered by Fnatic, thanks to Roy's trade kill. But no, the lineup's right there for Nexa. It was right there, and he's got the nade. Not going to go to the right position, but the headshot will. Now they've got the bomb. That's that's so important from Nexa to be able to stop that hit because Fnatic's come into this game. Oh my lord, little taps from Mezzi again. 1v3 for Crims. But Fnatic has played such an aggressive, fast-paced game. They came into this with some attitude trying to flex on OG. They're, they're out of money. So you can see two Tech Nines, two Deagles. We've seen the Tech Nines do some special things. That that fight from Mezzi might be a bit ambitious. I think he's feeling overly confident due to his wins with the AK-47. And Nexa just spots Dexter making a play at the last possible second and puts a stop to it. We've seen a lot of back and forth with weaker guns, in particularly the Deagles, etc. over on Overpass. Well, we're not seeing that now in this round for Fnatic. Good. Didn't get any of that. Yeah, good. I, I'm, I'm with you on that one. Let's, let's, keep, <laughs> let's keep the guns going, yeah? Let's just get some normal Counter-Strike in here. I'm all, I'm all down for some madness, but that was too much even for me on Overpass. So, a star role that Fiku has playing Dark on the CT side, super important. As is holding camera, and Regali's AWP catches Roy being aggressive in mid. It's a similar move that Roy employed in the previous gun round they had. It's a similar result. Roy down and out. Mezzi has to trade it. Oh! Peek out from Fasher, stopped by Mezzi. And it's just Regali left. Mezzi does everything in this round. Absolutely every kill that Fnatic secured in this round off the back of Mezzi. Oh, it's just so sick to watch him play this well. Straight through dark. He did, yeah. I had, I had one instance recently where... It, I got a cheese board in my room, a, little, a couple of cheeses, hams, stuff like that, grapes, everything all, all over it. I sat down beside my mouse pad. A little, flicked it. little homemade charcuterie? Yeah, exactly. Smashed it all over the floor. Bits of cheese in the in the computer. No. Salami everywhere. Yeah, sticky salami picked up off the carpet. Oh, it was a horrible situation. Well, Mezzi goes one for one. Crims is, uh, is able to pick things up. Or not one for one, he just gets dropped. But Crims is able to find it either way. Next is no. going to play around the smoke over towards Ivy. There's a little bit of a gap so we can see if someone jumps up onto platform and the commitment's going to come straight into the bomb site. Next is the only one here for the moment, so he's got to hold on. And teammates dying as they shift over means this round is getting out of reach for OG. Regali left alone. He's got to go for it last round of the half. And of course... We'll give him a shot, but a very small one. As he switches out to the AK-47, sprinting back in, he'll smoke out B-Main. That's a good area to smoke off, but he's about to be double peak. And he manages one headshot out of it. Fnatic secure and hit for half on the T side of Anubis. This round will go a long, 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 long way. And Nex has got himself a smoke and a flash to try and assist in doing that. They're going to walk through middle, Fasher at the front, and about to get smashered by his former teammate, Roy. Fiku jumping around the corner. Regali, pressure on Afro, but the Frenchman handles the pressure. It's now down to Fiku and Kito to pull this one off on the T side. Well, mid control, they're split at the moment. This P250 can find one kill just to thin out the defense. That'd be magnificent. Gonna have to drop towards canals. That'll make a sound, so they hustle. It's a retake setup at the B bomb site as Crims is the only one here, so Plant should be able to be just fine. And Fiku's gonna spot out the very passive defense and commit to the plants. And here comes the retake. Fiku goes for the peak on Crims. 
Doesn't land the shot. Would have loved to have got one there, but now going for the fight again. This time, Crims domes him, leaving Keto in the 1v3. The Glock not going to be able to pull it off. Crims is having one masterclass of a map here. 16 kills to 7 deaths has just eclipsed Mezzi. All right, let's see it, OG. What do you got? Afro immediately with the first kill in mid. Fiku does nothing about it. So OG handed a 4v5 as soon as round 14 kicks off. And not the easiest position to be in now. No, that's a, that's a really painful, painful early loss to take at a round where everything kind of rides on this. AK-47 in the hands of Regali. fasher has got his Galil. They're going to attack into Mezzi's position. And as we've seen, Mezzi has been on point in this map. Molotov dropped. Actually, two Molotovs dropped in towards dark. I think Mezzi wants to slide into the corner when these fade. Couple of kills from Mezzi and Crims. And any chance of doing anything in this round is gone. Nexa hits a big bang shot towards the back of the site. Boy, there's so many players looking at him and Dexter's the one that closed it. So 10-4, looking like a dominant win coming in here for Fnatic. G up in the hands of Regali as well. OG doesn't really need to be said, but they have to go on some kind of a crazy run and that's a bad start. Another spam kill through smoke from the B bomb site. Here's Roy behind the fountain peak. Stout second kill for Roy, critted by Regali. Now 2v3. Fnatic looking to close on to 12 rounds here. And Regali's watching the heaven play. If Afro is to peek out here, he would die immediately to the AWP. And let's see. It looks like it could happen, but Afro seems to be aware that that's a possibility, so doesn't want to extend into the open. And this mid-fight going down. Crims <laughs> Feek is spraying their full magazines in. Having to switch to the pistols, and eventually it will be Crims to win that fight, and OG's buy goes away. We did not find out. To take us to the third map and the decider. There's Fasher walking in to kill Crims from the back of the platform. He has not had a bad game here at all. 22 and 8. Just beautiful to watch Crims in this game. And Fasher walks back into the B bomb site, this time alone. And he will die shortly. 13 to 4. Ugh. Fnatic bounce back and force Inferno in this series. OG's oh, map pick. Well, I, I, I expect the results are probably better in practice at the moment. Who bet? You bet, who bet? Gets absolutely melted by Afro pushing forward. The Frenchman's heard us dissing his guacamole and chips, and he goes firing through CT spawn. 
And here is Nexa. I mean, everyone, everyone, everyone peeks off Roy's contact. Although he dies so quickly, you don't even really get a chance to peek in the follow-up. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't go so well for him now at all. And now a peek through the church. It's Fiku once again getting a pick on Afro. Dexter and Crims now left alone and make it only Crims. This is going to be an OG pistol without issue. Walking out through Banana, Fasher going for a little jiggle on the half walls. Has seen enough. He's decided to drop back and... That pulls Fiku behind. over. There he goes again. Flash in this time. Nexus sets him up. Fasher has an easy old time of things with the first kill, but the double peek upon the second time is not going to work for Fasher. Good nade as well. Spam through the smoke coming in. They've already crossed over. Nexus hiding, and Afro has no idea. And now a crossfire is set up with Fiku on that timing rotation and handled by Keto coming through the smoke. OG to nothing. I, I tuned in during our break, and uh, Henry was standing up doing like jumping jacks or something to get the blood pumping back into his glutes. So here we go. It's Nexa running down through second mid. Uh, big fight to win that. Roy couldn't really do much about it. And Crims has just arrived too late to actually get the trade here. So OG have yeah. kind of stolen the opening away. Yeah, for them to push that deep and get away without taking any real significant damage is, is actually pretty crazy to think about. Oh, Fiku. Peering up into the apartments. Smoke is going to keep him down. Here come Fnatic. Ready to attack through the front. It is going to be Messi with that first headshot. Fasher's gone and Regali can't do much about it because he's held behind a smoke. So he's going to wait his teammates, but they might not arrive in time or at all. Grims has just killed Fiku off the balcony. Now they're going back to address that issue because they're worried about it. And they will say, yeah, and they've cleared it out. They've cleared out Crimson's position, but still going to be a round victory for Fnatic. It was was uh, was it Fasher who kind of uh, ran out in the open of the B bombs? Was he mollied behind new box? I couldn't I tell. I think so. Okay, that would make more sense. I was confused why he just kind of ran out to take the angle. I thought maybe that kind of Crim's pressure uh, was a little bit of a fake and pulled him out, but. That was a very nice, easy kill for Mezzi. Spot on with an immediate headshot. And first round of the board for Fnatic. So they recover a 4v5 quite nicely. Here is being to the scene. 45 so seconds. Overstack at the B bomb site for OG. And Roy is going to open up rap side. That's the sole defender at A. Almost looks like he wanted to investigate turning it into a split. But with this much space gained towards that bomb site, you might as well go investigate. And I imagine we'll see the bomb fall back to the A bomb site any minute now. Although, no one's committing to the A bomb site. There's Mezzi. I'm running around the corner, it's Basher holding from top oranges, rips Mezzi oh, away. Oh no! And there's the shot from Regali from Dark, running out of time now, not enough time, and oh, so many no. players here for OG, it collapses completely. Oh, Fnatic, how has that happened? Oh no, they were so stuck into that B-split the whole time. Ooh. Yeah, it's landing behind Mezzi. Taking the brunt of the damage of that. He's going to still peak. He's going to still peak like he has what? 100 health. And Nexa looked away. Why? <laughs> Why? <don't> Why? <laughs> You thought a flash is coming in? Who knows what what uh, sort of inspired him to do that? And and all the meanwhile, Krim's got an opening kill on Keto towards the A bomb site. So with three v five, and this one's going to be way more difficult for OG to recover. Same concept, just different bomb sites, right? You throw a little bit of utility and pressure at the B bomb site. You're going to send Mezzi in to investigate just to see if it's clear. He'll likely go down, and then you go A. I think we're all good here for Fnatic this time around. Dexter's even cutting off that banana rotation attempt. Regali's already saving, so Basha will do the same. They have to keep that second rifle there in support. They have to keep Fasher in position to back up the op. So it's only these three defenders at the eight bomb site. Looks like Fiku with the FAMAS is going to get a lot of attention on rap side as well. That's going to be a really tough fight against AK-47s. 
There's a commitment forward into the A-side. Fnatic running forward through short. Next to just the one Fiku steps up with him. And that's a collapse of the attack for Fnatic because they run into just two players. Fiku and Damn. Nexa get it more of a lean towards A straight away. They're going to flash and do the smoke execute for Moto straight away, trying to force Fnatic further back into the site. Roy has got himself that opening. Headshot, Regali from the middle of the side. Second shot is good too. And finally, the Romanian Alper is brought down to the ground. Nexa and Fasher have to play the retake game. Oh, this is huge kill on Crims, but it's going to prop the peak from Messi, who's got both lined up with the Galil. Doesn't miss the opportunity. To overpass now, Astralis' map pick. That's over on the A stream. And here we've got the commitment into the B stack. This is a chance for OG now, Jason. This is exactly what they were hoping for. Oh, bombs coming through as well. Bombs coming through. Good trade with the FAMAS. There's the five sevens, and it's happened again. It has happened again. Into the stack we go. Bomb cannot be recovered, and all Keto has to do is stay alive. He calls out Crimson's position. Middle now. There's the barrel showing. Regali calls it out. Molotov under porch. Molotov screws up his aim a little bit, but he still handles it. There's the follow-up peaks and the swing from Fiku. He's got two and a spray down before Afro can respond. And Regali flies past the bullet. It's just Mezzi remaining. Just Mezzi. In fact, that is surely going to happen. No? No? Oh my god, he just caught him. <laughs> <laughs> That's so ridiculous. All right, Keto. Nope, just have another look. Make sure no one else is there. Yeah, saved by the, the truck. Saved by the truck. Yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. That's how it crumbles. And speaking of crumbling, it is Fnatic here. Running towards the site. Fasher has destroyed him. Mezzi left alone. Fasher's having a great time up against his ex-teammates. That'll be 9-3 to three for OG. Still is underway. And it's a big tack from uh, OG through short. It's speed behind the Glocks. The Glock train has left the station. Will it be Fnatic's final destination? It's Crims holding as much as he can from the cubby. Into the back of the site is Fasher and damage being done to Crims, who's pretty low on health now after all of those initial skirmishes. He's got some teammates. Well, he did have some teammates. Now he doesn't have himself. It's now only Mezzi and wow. OG. And he's he can even cheat back towards A if he wants to take a massive risk. This is OG's turn to walk into a stack. 35 seconds left, four defenders at this bomb site. There's Afro, a couple of shots to the body. That's the Deagle being traded, though. 4v3, slowly but surely going OG's way. Fnatic now with just Mezzi left. Entering the tavern. Once a library, now a tavern with lots of booze. I think a better use of that area now, Jason. What, what would you think? Not a, not a fan of libraries, are you? No, I love libraries, sure. <laughs> But I'd rather go to the, the pub with my Kindle, you know? What if you had a library with a with a bar in it? Now that is applied. Maybe you should open one of those. It feels like a good idea. After esports, you know? I'm not sure what will happen. I lost my feed, Jason, so... Okay, I got you, dog. Afro's got a pick. Fiku makes his play there. There's a second one. Roy in position on rap side to trade that off. And Krim's up on balcony with the AUG is waiting for this play from Keto. Peering in, that new railing taken away provides an avenue to attack into Krim's. Two players in halls with Foster coming up middle a little bit late. There's the flashbang. Krim's turns but comes back for the clothesline. Double kill. And Dexter finds the final. Yeah, I mean, when that's, when that's kind of the consequences, every round is pressure oh no especially against tech nines and fosher creeps all the way up banana before <laughs> anyone realized it another five and, he's gonna be all on alone. his own yeah <laughs> yep that's the biggest problem he's alone in this one and here they come keto taken out by mezzi who's arrived just in time a sure. smoke spam on a double of course maybe keto just went before the smoke popped and the second one was definitely through the smoke itself and they can't plant the bomb. Afro's doing a good job of making it uncomfortable. Now the rush of the rotators here. Smoke fading at CT, or at least was shot open. And now Met Extra just trying to jump around it. Bomb plant will come through for OG. Regali hits another shot. Oh, that swing from Fasher needed to reap the kill, and it won't. So Regali now left alone, taken out by Fnatic, who will push forward to seven. 
Yeah, but this is this is Mezzi saving the day round after round. I mean, he had the solo round at the B bomb site, a triple kill in the 4v5. This is two spams through smoke as well. After they're very close to halls, all smoked off as well. Turns this into a one prong hit. Immediate dink as well. Krim's got to be careful coming through the smoke. The off as well from rap side. Defense holds so strong, so clean. Foster does find the op at the end of the day, but uh, nothing else you can really do. Nade and Flashbang in his face. He can't turn the corner, and Fnatic up to nine. And remember, OG have zero timeouts to use to calm things down. Rounds. Here's OG on tech nines. Will it end up uh, being another scenario where they win on the back of these? Here we go. It's, it's very possible. They found an opening. They found an opening. Crims can't recover in time to get more than one. And now it's just Afro. He's going to be taken down by Regali. And of course, oh, but the bomb. The bomb is actually crossed over to Graveyard. So thank God the deal shot comes out from Keto. And Regali just now realizing, oh, yeah, I do have the bomb. Here you go. I told, I told you, Jason. Unless we were yeah. in the last round. <laughs> well, they finally put it together that Fnatic's starting 3B. They're like, okay, triple B that we've seen two, three, four rounds in a row. If we get up A fast, if we can find that killer, just trade the first one off, we've got a lot of space to work with. Yeah, well, here they are. Perfect position to try and close it now. 4v2. Roy and Mezzi looking to save the day for Fnatic, trying to keep them alive for at least another round here. Desperately fighting Nexa, but the Tech 9 will prevail, and so will OG. Regali brings down Mezzi. And it's 13 to 9 on the final match.